Hey, this is Salvio, and I'm here at ADE. I mean, I love ADE. It's always hustling and bustling with energy. The industry is here. You just meet so many people in so many different ways. You have the educational portion with the panels, you know, and it just makes people more accessible and to get their opinions on things. I just always look forward to meeting new people, meeting people that I talk to on Zoom all year long and actually getting to connect with them in person and just feel their energy in a different way, which is really nice. Absolutely, so yesterday I played the uh, Purple Tea and Deep Tech LA party, and one of my students sent me an unreleased track that he had been working on, and so I played it without him knowing I was gonna play it. And so he was loving it, and then there was a guy who has a label that was there, and he signed it on the spot, which was like, to see his reaction was like really memorable, and honestly, it'll stick out. It made my week, to be fair. So when I start new tracks, I usually like to start with the kick and the bass. I feel like that's the foundation of house music. And so if you get that right, then everything else builds off of that and it's better. So, you know, if you're building a house of cards, and the foundation isn't good, it's gonna just tumble down. So if you get that right, you know, it's a good start. Even if I start with, you know, a vocal sample or synth line, I always come back and really dive into the kick and bass to get that going really well. I definitely feel earlier in my production and DJ career, I was very versatile in the things that I did and styles and sounds. And more so recently after doing Tour Academy stuff, I really honed in on my sound, which is more of that funky, groovy, dance floor, kind of tech house sound. And I've kind of honed in and really developed my skills and techniques to drive like what my signature sound is through using my drum machines and synthesizers. And I think that that's really what has tailored my sound to what it is right now. You know, I'm really excited about people are really getting more into like a funkier, groovier sound instead of just like really driving stuff. There's really good samples, good rhythmical stuff. I feel like the musicality of the music is really coming around. And there's always people that are pushing the envelope that kind of get you going and thinking in a different way. And I think it's really refreshing. I think the best thing that you could do is figure out what your goal is for ADE. So, you know, do you want to get your track signed? Do you want to improve your production? And once you figure that out, you can kind of work backwards. So if you want to improve your production, maybe you're going to master classes or ADE lab and things like that. If you want to get signed, you know, check out what labels are doing, demo drops and things, and put yourself in those positions where you can meet the right people and learn what you're trying to do to get you towards that end goal. I think one thing is definitely staying true to yourself and your sound, don't try to follow the trends. But I also think the most important thing is just don't quit. You know, you're gonna get a lot of no's, you're gonna get, people aren't gonna listen to your demos, they're not gonna answer your emails, but you know, you just need to keep pushing on and keep going if it's something that you really want. I think going back to even the last question, like it's just that I didn't quit. You know, like at any point I could have just given up and people would have thought, all right, that's, you know, it's fine. But, you know, you just keep going and keep pushing and eventually things start working out. And so I think that that's kind of the thing I'm most proud of. I'm working on a series um, that's gonna launch where I'm gonna do 30 tracks in 30 days. So we're working out different ways to do that, but it's gonna be available to everybody through socials and you're gonna have access to the tracks as well. So I think that that'll be a fun one.